Today, we're diving into one of the most intriguing oil developments of the 21st century. If you enjoy content that explores the intersection of geopolitics, energy, and economic strategy, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos. In the northern waters of the Caspian Sea lies one of the world's most challenging and controversial oil fields, Kashagan. Once deemed too difficult and expensive to develop by Western companies, this massive reserve was eventually acquired by China for $5 billion in what many industry experts called a foolish gamble. But was it really a mistake, or was it one of China's most strategic energy investments? The story begins in Kazakhstan, the world's largest landlocked country, which spans over 2.7 million square kilometers and possesses enormous natural resources. With proven oil reserves estimated at 14 billion tons, Kazakhstan holds some of the most significant untapped energy potential on the planet. The Kashagan oil field, discovered in the waning days of the Soviet Union, represents the crown jewel of these resources. Soviet geologists first identified Kashagan's potential in 1988, but the collapse of the USSR left the newly independent Kazakhstan without the technical capabilities or financial resources to develop it alone. The country was forced to partner with foreign companies, and serious exploration only began in 2000, when an Italian energy company led an international consortium to assess the field. What they discovered was astonishing. Kashagan wasn't just another oil field, it was a colossus, comprising four main blocks, Kashagan, Karen, Karanas, and Adod. The field covers more than 3,000 square kilometers. Initial estimates put its geological reserves at an incredible 38 billion barrels, with recoverable reserves between 7 and 9 billion barrels. Its potential production capacity was estimated at up to 1.5 million barrels per day, making it the largest oil discovery in over three decades, surpassing even Alaska's famous Prudhoe Bay field. But Kashagan's promise came with unprecedented challenges. Located in the harsh northern Caspian Sea near the city of Adarao, the field presented extreme technical difficulties. Its remote location, severe weather conditions, and unique geological characteristics created a perfect storm of complications. Accessing the oil required building more than 240 offshore wells and installing over 30 automated drilling rigs all while contending with fierce storms, freezing temperatures, and constant risks of pipeline ruptures. These formidable obstacles led to spiraling costs and significant delays. By 2003, many of the original foreign investors had begun withdrawing from the project. The initial development cost estimate of $57 billion had ballooned to a staggering $136 billion, and production remained a distant goal. Even Kazakhstan struggled to fund its share and was forced to sell stakes to foreign companies. By 2013, after nearly two decades of setbacks, American investors had lost confidence in Kashagan's viability and decided to exit. This created an opportunity that China swiftly seized. Kazakhstan bought back a 7.14% share from the departing American company and promptly sold it to China National Petroleum Corporation, CNPC, for $5 billion. Western analysts predicted failure, but China approached the challenge with characteristic determination. Within days of acquiring its stake, China took control of operations and began producing oil, though not without early setbacks. A gas leak temporarily halted production shortly after operations began, and another leak in October 2016 required extensive pipeline replacements. These difficulties weren't unexpected, considering the field's history of causing problems for international companies. However, China brought its proven expertise in managing complex infrastructure projects, honed through endeavors like the Three Gorges Dam and the Hong kong zhuhai macau Bridge to bear on Kashagan's challenges. China adapted development plans to the unique conditions of the site, implementing measures such as constructing protective dikes against harsh winds, deepening shipping channels, and employing advanced technological strategies to overcome environmental and logistical obstacles. Their persistence paid off when Kashagan officially entered its production phase in September 2016. Just one month later, Kazakhstan exported its first shipment of crude oil from the field, marking a pivotal moment in the project's troubled history. By the end of 2016, output had reached 8.9 million tons of oil. 
Production continued to grow, reaching over 15 million tons by 2021. Current projections suggest the field could eventually produce up to 75 million tons per year, substantially boosting Kazakhstan's oil exports and cementing its economic relationship with China. Beyond the field's development, China and Kazakhstan collaborated on a major oil pipeline connecting the two countries. This 2,800-kilometer pipeline runs from Atarao in Kazakhstan to Alashanku in China's Xinjiang region with an annual capacity of 20 million tons. Often called the first oil pipeline of the Silk Road, it represents a key component of China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative. This infrastructure strengthens the energy security of both nations while enhancing trade relations. It allows China to secure access to Central Asian energy supplies and extend its influence throughout the region. For Kazakhstan, the pipeline opens new markets and reduces dependence on traditional export routes through Russia. The successful development of Kashigan and its associated infrastructure has delivered significant economic benefits to both countries. China has secured a vital energy resource and solidified its position as a global power with significant influence in Central Asia. Kazakhstan has seen its energy exports grow substantially, with China now playing a central role in the country's energy market. Furthermore, these projects have deepened the strategic partnership between the two nations, creating opportunities for collaboration across various sectors, including technology, transportation, and manufacturing. What began as an energy investment has blossomed into a comprehensive economic relationship that benefits both parties. In retrospect, what many considered a risky $5 billion gamble has transformed into a major success story for China. Despite enormous technical challenges and financial hurdles, China's persistence in developing the Kashigan oil field has yielded substantial economic and geopolitical rewards. This case exemplifies China's growing capability to manage complex international projects and highlights its increasing role as a key player in global energy markets. The Kashigan story also illustrates a broader trend in global energy politics. China's willingness to invest in projects deemed too difficult or unprofitable by Western companies, often with surprising success. While Western energy giants increasingly focus on renewable energy, and divest from challenging fossil fuel projects, China continues to secure traditional energy sources around the world, building influence and ensuring supply security for its growing economy. As global energy dynamics continue to evolve, the Kashigan development stands as a testament to China's long-term strategic thinking and its ability to transform apparent risks into valuable assets. What was once dismissed as a $5 billion mistake has become a cornerstone of China's energy security and a powerful symbol of its growing global influence.